Okay, so Ahav and I have had a very busy cardboard box church road trip. We've already been uh, in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, Katy, Texas, Fort Worth, Texas, El Paso, Texas, and San Diego, California. Now this video is with San Diego, California, and then also Disneyland, where Ahav and I met up with Joel Jackson and Chris Mumber to have a good, a good time of uh, fun and relaxation. And uh, now I want to mention one thing before you see all these clips is that we're going to be in Roseburg, Oregon, this Tuesday, March 21st. So if you want to go to the Roseburg, Oregon uh, Outreach uh, Street Church and then meeting at night, if the street church is going to be either from 12 to 3 or 1 to 4, and then the meeting at night is going to be from 6 to 9. And, uh, and if you want to go, send me an email. I got a new email address, cardboardboxchurch at gmail.com. I'll put that up on the board right now. And you can send me uh, an email uh, telling me you want to go, and then I'll send you back uh, the address. And then also, March 23rd, Thursday, March 23rd, we're going to be in Seattle, Washington. Same thing. If you want to go, uh, send me an email. I'll respond, I'll give you the addresses, all right? God bless you guys. Because I can tell you're a believer. In, uh, so, uh, we're, you want to give her that? Uh, we're, we're, we're going through, we're leaving Yuma into San Diego to Minister Carver Box Church in San Diego. And this young lady, very sweet young lady, <laughs> she's collecting uh, the fruit that we didn't know we couldn't bring. And she's got pain in her back. So, Lord, bless her. Right now, all pain, leave her back now in Jesus' name. All stress go, pain go, anxiety go in Jesus' name. Pain go. Now, now move around. Tell me if you're feeling anything going on. No. It's gone. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that cool? <laughs> Did you feel any tingling or heat? No. No, it just went away. Yes. That's wild. <laughs> Praise I'm the Lord. To figure out, like, is it the way I'm standing? Like, but I've been having it in my back. It was so just. Do you feel light in your back? Yes. You feel light? Okay, that's a common manifestation. Aww. Lightness. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> so, yeah, have to, okay, here's, here's the, the rhymes. Yeah, you have to, we have to give the rhymes because, like, <laughs> but there might be mites in the rhymes. She's doing her job. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Bye. Uh, Hob and I are in San Diego. This is called, this building right here is called the Living Room Coffee House. On right off of College Avenue or El Cajon, El Cajon, whatever. El Cajon or El Cajon. It looks very quaint. Yeah, it looks very quaint and old fashioned. So we'll see what it's like. We're gonna go get ourselves a latte. We're gonna go inside. We don't need to peek. Oh, this <laughs> We don't need to peek in the window. We just go inside. So this is it. We'll see what the. We like a latte with. Uh, I, I like the latte with almond milk. Me too. Her too. <laughs> it's a nice place, very quaint. There's another way out here. Say hello. Hi. We're documenting our trip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're giving a plug for the living room coffee house. Look at that. That looks so good. Look at how delicious that looks. That looks healthy too. <laughs> this is Shirley. We met her at the living room cafe. Does your back still feel cold? Yes, it does. <laughs> I'm like freaking out right now. Oh, that was amazing. I had back pain and they, they wished it away for me. And, um, <laughs> And I called for a supernatural ice pack. Yeah, and, and my back instantly, um, right exactly where the pain was on the lower right hand side, got cold. It got cold. Wow, exactly, good point. <laughs> exactly right there. Because ice in the natural yeah. makes swelling and inflammation go away, so God will give you a supernatural ice yes. pack. Yes, and truly, you were at the right place at the right time. Oh my God. Isn't that well, crazy? Yeah, that was crazy. Yes, that was crazy. <laughs> Thank you.
documented your face when it happened. Yeah, it was, it was, it was so priceless. That was, that was crazy. I've never experienced anything like that in my life. <laughs> Wait, so, so Nico's left foot hurts. Okay, and here we are in San Diego, Pablo Walk Church, and Chris is going to minister. Father, we thank you for Nico. Now all pain in his foot go now. Foot be healed and restored right now in Jesus' name. Amen. So go ahead and put Amen. some weight on this. Do you feel anything different? No, not really, not uh, much. Not too much. Did it, it change helps. a little bit? Or yeah. A little bit? Yeah. So you say, what would, how, like, how much did you go, did go down, like, percentage-wise, would you say? Probably, like, Feeling full percentage, but not feeling okay. Okay. Like, can, I, can I go again? Because uh, we, I think we can get a hundred percent. Probably. Nico, does it feel light? Yeah. You feel like a lightness in your foot. Yeah. That's a good. That's that lightness is a common manifestation of Lord's power, and it's a sign to help you to know that Jesus loves you. Mm -hmm. All right. So you just hit it one more time, then, Chris. Father, thank you for making the pain go down, but we want a hundred percent. All pain go right now in Jesus. Amen. So move it. Go like this, Nico. How's that feel? It feels better. Is it? Isn't it amazing? Yeah. So like, have you ever seen? Have you seen the Lord touch you supernaturally like that ever before? <laughs> Probably not. First time? How long have you been a Christian? Uh, my whole life. Your whole life. You feel like you're born again? Yeah. You. So you're a born again Christian. And how old are you? Oh, I'm 26. 26. You've been a born again Christian your whole life. But when did you become a born again Christian? Uh, Eight years old, nine years old. Eight, and you got baptized in water and everything? And this is the first time you've experienced like the supernatural power of God touching you in that way? Yeah. It's, now, doesn't that, that speaks a lot about how the church needs to get their act together, right? It's like, because like, you know, Chris has seen it many times, but, but the body of Christ needs to like, we need to be teaching this, that there's power in us. Yeah. There's power in you, Nico. He, God gives, God gives power, there's power in all believers. Mm -hmm. So in supernatural power that wants to come out. Mm -hmm. So like if you, when you were baptized, if you receive the, the Holy Spirit, you've got that power in you also. Mm -hmm. And so God wants you to share that with people because that's what gets people's attention when they see signs like that. Right. Amen? Yes, amen. So Lord, bless Nico. Bless Nico. Holy Spirit, stir up your power in Nico so that he can release your power to people in need in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. So right now, right now I speak forth your power, your love. Open heavens over my brother right now. Bring it, Lord. Open visions right now that he sees the secrets of people's hearts in Jesus' name. Supernatural understanding, wisdom. The spirit of revelation travels with him and operates through him. In Jesus' name, more, Lord. Bring it right more than that. More of that. In Jesus' name, more, 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 more. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Because you can trust him more. Because the, because you know you can trust him. In a humble heart. Yes. More of that. More of that. In Jesus' name. More. Thank you. I'm glad you made it. Amen. Hallelujah. That was a good Amen. word. Amen. How do you feel about that word, brother? I feel great about it. And we can't waste any time. We have to get about God's business. Amen. 101 entry level is right. Lay hands on the sick. Disciples. Raise up the dead, Raise the dead. and cast out these yes. evil spirits. Amen. They got to go. And William got healed earlier. Chris laid yeah. hands on him, and his back is doing great. I'm a roller skater very often. I'll go tomorrow. Right. Twice. And so now you can see my veins here, whereas even yesterday I skated and it was all plucked up. You can't see them, but you can see them now. Is it so sore? Not now. Oh, swelling went away. So the swelling's you gone. Pray you pray for swelling to go away? Yeah. yeah. First first. Praise, Praise the Lord. All right, Rita, what's going on, Rita? Um, my lower back, it's always had like some stiffness and crunchy and, and sore. So For how long? It's been a few years. A few years? Yeah. Okay. And was there a trauma there? I don't think there was, I don't know if there was a trauma. I, I think like after I gave birth to the right. kids and then after that it just became just started more building more. up? Yeah. I just felt the power of God. Jessica, Amen. Jessica, when, you, when you're praying, just tap Rita in the back, like tap or say pain, pain, go in Jesus' name, and that's it, all right? Okay. All right. Let's hit record. Isn't that it?
That's it. That's it. No extra. Just do that. All right. Quiet on the set. Quiet on the set. All right. All right. Go ahead. Myself together here. Go ahead, Jessica. Rita. Rita. Yeah. Okay. 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 That's it. Just real simple. Just do that. All right. Good. Pain. Go right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Now move your back around. So I don't have pain. The crunchy part is what I'm looking for, which is it feels like the. Okay. You know, All right. See now. Yeah. Now put your hand on Rita's back for like, like five seconds and say and say, uh, Lord, give her a supernatural cushioning in Jesus' name. All right. Lord, give her a supernatural cushioning in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now move around and bend over to touch, touch those, blah, blah, blah. Come on up. What, is there anything going on there? I'm looking for the crunch. <laughs> Put your fingers back there and tell me if you feel a supernatural cushioning. I feel the crunch. You um, feel the crunch? Yeah. So when I go back and forth, yeah. it's like... <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah. So bend over again. Okay. Come on back up. Lord, we believe you've released through Jessica. So what's going on? Anything different now? It's less. It's less. See, sometimes it just takes a minute or so, right? So like, and, uh, and so like with that crunching, it was just something that like high stress levels for a while after you had baby. I don't know. I, I was seeing a chiropractor for a little while and it's like misalignment kind of thing. Okay, now Jessica, just uh, five more seconds and, and, and say any any trauma from the chiropractor, go in Jesus' name. Any trauma from the chiropractor, go in Jesus' name, trauma leaves. Amen. Right now. Now, now bend over again, touch your toes. Come on back up. No crunch. Oh, awesome. Praise the Lord. Praise God. And, and let's, we want to confirm this. Do it again and come back up. And, it, and now put your fingers back there. And you feel, how does it feel? Yeah, I don't feel the crunch. No crunch. You see, there's a, uh, yes, there's the glory of the Lord. You release the glory of the Lord onto Rita's back. What do you guys need prayer for? They're in the music industry. <laughs> just a, you know, a covering, just make us all right, make us be okay in our adventures off into the world. Okay. Now, one of the things I notice is that, like, I'll look to minister to, like, if there's any pain anywhere, and then if, when the pain goes away, their faith is, is building up, and they're able to receive other things like that more. So is there any pain anywhere? I mean... No pain, nothing hurts, nothing hurts. Okay. Do you sometimes get headaches? Headaches? You got one now? You have a headache now? Okay. Yeah, panic attacks. Yeah, you can see like the, the anxiety from the uh, all the things that you're doing. Right, 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 right. Amen. Go ahead. Get them out. And anxiety. And no long prayers. Just say you spirit of headaches. Brother Tom, can you say something and I repeat after you? Yeah, just put your hand on her head and say, you spirit of headaches, go in Jesus' name. You spirit of headaches, go in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yes, right. amen. Now, now, what's going on? Is it going away? Yes. It's going, it's going away. Yes. Praise the Lord. And you don't have to do it again because it's going away. Yeah. Yes. yes. Amen. Yeah. Now, 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 come against anxiety. And then I came out. I come against out. anxiety. Because anxiety is a spirit. And, and so, like, say... And panic attacks. Panic attacks. Yeah. If you got anxiety and panic attacks in your believers, you open the door to it by by uh, being by agreeing with the world too much. You got to say, Lord, I, Lord, I repent of acting like the world and loving the world. Amen. Because because so, you can you can be in the Lord's will and what He wants you to do for Him, and He'll prosper you in that industry without you loving the world. So you don't have to love the world in order to get favor in that world. He's the one that gives the favor. Amen. So say say that. Say uh, have them repeat, repenting of of loving the world. Father God. No, no. Have them say 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 repeat after me. I'm no. repenting for loving the world. Amen. Amen. You repent of loving, loving the world. world. You too, right? Yes. Amen. 
So release peace to them. Yeah. I release peace unto you guys and I pray that you guys will have a fruitful heart in the name of Jesus and clarity will come to your mind. Holy Spirit, come upon them and bless them and guide them in the name of Jesus with power and love so that they could spread their artistic you know, yes. attributes to the world in a positive amen. way, but not in a negative way. In the name of Jesus, I declare amen. and decree. Amen. 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 And anxiety go. Anxiety go. Yeah. That, that was heartfelt prayer. Amen. That's why you like it. All anxiety go. You feel, you feel more peaceful? I mean, I'm always trying to feel a little bit of peace. You feel peaceful? <laughs> Yeah, all anxiety go in Jesus' name. All fear and anxiety go. Jesus is the one who promotes you and blesses you, not the world. So give them wisdom, Lord, to know how to, to know how to bring your kingdom into this industry, the way you want it brought into this industry, so that you can take over the industry, not Satan. We rebuke you, Satan, off of this couple. This couple belongs to Jesus Christ. So we declare you're going to bring the kingdom of heaven into that industry, and you're going to be God fearing in it and do everything according to the Lord's will. We declare that over you. Peace to you in Jesus' name. All anxiety leave. All spirit of anxiety get out in Jesus' name. Go anxiety. Go fear. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out in Jesus' name. Go. 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 You feel anything going on? <laughs> you feel peaceful? I was really praying for her through me. It was like okay. Both same time. You feel peaceful though? Yeah, it's cool. You feel, is there, no, in, I feel it's a, the, the quietness again. Yeah. Right? You feel quietness? The quiet before the storm, right? Yes. Amen. And we declare over you that uh, the whole I mean, it, 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 it could be a good storm. We can oh, okay. wash away okay. everything okay. that's okay. bad. You know? Right. Well, amen. Not amen. Everything is bad. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I want to right. decree over this family. Lord, you've said in your word, be ye holy as I am holy. So, Lord, sanctify this family. By the blood of Jesus, I speak a thorough cleansing, purification by the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach. Lord, take this marriage to be, use them. I declare they will be ambassadors for Christ. They will be representations of holiness and purity. Lord, let this be so as I decree it and as everyone here comes into agreement. There will be a transformation from this day forward. Amen. Deeper into you, Jesus. Amen. And you guys are disgusted with the corruption in the industry, right? Yeah. Like you see it clearly and it discourages you. Right. It's like, Lord, how do we navigate this industry in a God-fearing way, right? right. Yeah. That's the question in your heart. So like that has created a frustration. I can see that frustration on you. And so like the only answer to that is spirit-led. I can feel the power of God on that. The spirit of God has to lead you in every decision because you're going into the devil's playground. He owns the music industry more than any industry, probably more so than Hollywood movies and all that stuff. Very, very music is the number one thing he, he controls the enemy. God sends his strongest soldiers into the most wickedest places. Right. And you've got to be tough. And so, like, we declare that supernatural toughness on you in Jesus' name. Wisdom and toughness, thick-skinned in a wicked industry that you're, like, nothing is going to rattle you. We declare that over you in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, and the Lord is going to increase you even more in discernment because you have been a guide for him in many ways. Yeah, when yeah, yeah. he's coming to, uh, uh, across people, the wrong people, you've said, I don't feel right about this person. Like, you've been his radar, so to speak. Is that true? Yeah. 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 She kept me out the way. Yes. yes. You're patient. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And the Lord's going to strengthen you from this day forward because none of this was an accident. Right. He's getting a hold of you. And you, what I've heard is that you have tried, sometimes you've tried to be like the world to fit in and to, yeah. uh, to move ahead and it hasn't set, set right. Right. It's been very disturbing. Yeah. And, and say this, Lord, I repent of anger. Lord, I repent of anger and rage and unnecessary rage. <laughs> I understand there's a righteous anger, without a doubt. Right. But but there's a fine line, you yeah. know. It's a thin line between getting yeah. the curse. Right. So so so, Lord, I repent of that uh -huh. in Jesus' name. Yeah, Amen. 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 So so, Lord, bless him. He's humbling himself before you, Lord. So all anger go completely in Jesus' name. Anger go. Anger go, anger go, in Jesus' name. Jesus loves you. 
you're humbling yourself before him. You know, the word says God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. And so I, re I feel the power of God. So I release that upon you, that peace to you, peace, peace, peace. Abide in his peace always. Do not let the sun go down on, on your anger and do not give the devil a foothold. So when you let the sun go down on your anger, you are giving the devil a foothold. So we don't want that. Amen? Amen. So freedom from that anger in Jesus' name. And I, again, again, I feel the supernatural peace and quietness of the moment. And the Lord even sets it up with the traffic. It's like the traffic is like even trying to like, like it's like the traffic is tiptoeing up to the light, right? You get that sense? You get the sense that they're like quietly pulling up. Amen. I don't know if you can see that or not. Can you, can you see that? I can see it from here. The, the left leg is shorter. You see? Can you you can you can see you can see that's above, <laughs> right? Okay, so right now, come on out, in Jesus' name. More, more, more. Yeah, it already has. More. Stretching there. There. So you you see it just evened up, right? I saw it. It is. Did you feel it stretch? It was so quick. You might not have felt it. I didn't feel it last time. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay, so now we're gonna let let go here. We're gonna have you stand up. Some trauma from men. Yeah. Trauma from men. So uh, I, I see that spirit of trauma, of abuse, and I curse it. I uplift, I lift it from the very roots. Yeah. You have no home in this body. Yeah. This body does not belong to you. This body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. So I rip you out of her, all trauma. Get out every impression, every memory of what happened. I put an end to it. I speak the blood of Jesus over you so that you remember no more. You remember no more. And I speak deep forgiveness. Uh, I want you to say this with your own tongue. Father in heaven. Father in heaven. I forgive myself. I forgive myself. Because Lord, I blame myself. Because Lord, I blame myself. I plead the blood of Jesus. That sets me free. That sets me free. And I know, Holy Spirit. And I know, Holy Spirit. That you support me. That you support me. That you have my back. That you have my back. So I repent. So I repent of torment. Of torment. I'm done with with torment. I'm done with torment. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. That sets me free. That sets me. Free. Praise the Lord. This is Carbo Box Church of San Diego. Hello there, everybody. Amen. We have to get somebody to take a picture of all of us. Oh, yeah. We need someone to take a picture of Ankle, be strong right now in Jesus' name. Muscles, tendons, and ligaments, we command you to get strong in the name of Jesus Christ because Jesus is Lord. He loves you. So right now, life and strength to the muscles, tendons, and ligaments right now in Jesus' name. Be restored because it's a sign for you to believe in Jesus even deeper because you have a cross on you and he wants you to see a deeper aspect of his truth and his love and his mercy and grace for you. So be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You feel anything going on there? I maybe mental thing, but I do it for like a little tingly. Tingly, yeah, 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 no, no, tingly. Right Do you know? You know, a tingling is a common manifestation of, God, of God's power, His Spirit's power. They'll feel tingling and they'll feel heat. You feel like also a lightness in your ankle? I feel something, honestly. Yeah, I do. I swear, I do. Walk on it. Walk but, on it. Walk on it. Just test it out. I mean. <laughs> Hey, I, hey, I don't know, I swear, bro. No, I swear. No, I, I'm hey. playing with you. I know you were telling. I know you're telling the truth. I swear, bro. What? My, my ankle doesn't hurt right now, but bro, I, we, I swear on my mom, bro. Told you. And, and Joel, when we came out of this store right here, Joel, we walked by you guys, and Joel said, when we walked by, he said, can you guys feel as if like we should have talked to those three? And I said, yeah, I feel all right with that. Let's go back. 
Yeah. So like, God didn't want to do something for you. Yes. We're a miracle right here in Disneyland. You were doing what? We're eating and we were just talking about yeah, how it's funny right before we were talking about my ankle. Isn't that amazing? Walk yeah. again. It's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it again. I didn't want to walk back. Sometimes what God does is he'll like, yeah, he, yeah. he'll yeah, nudge you and he'll right. tell you like, yeah. go over there to these people. Do we don't this. pray for everybody. But we, for some people that God really wants to talk to. Yeah, yeah. Right. We'll you wait. guys are that, and I'm not. Right. I'm not hyping it up. I'm saying that's true. Right, because yeah. you guys can share truth with people that we can't share with. God appoints people into your lives for you to share truth with. Right. And it's not for us to share; it's for you to share it. And so the Lord wants you all to be born again. Yeah. So whatever, whatever denomination you're in, He wants you to be born again. Yeah. That means you understand the gospel message and you receive Jesus by faith. And then you're you're led by the spirit and everything you do. Yeah. You understand that? You and understand the gospel message, right? Yeah. And there there are going to be good days and bad days. But if you, I'm telling you that, in life there's going to be good days and bad days regardless. So sure. you might as well have those good days and bad days with Jesus and and trust His word. If you everything that you want from God is can be found in the Bible. Amen. Yes. So, yeah. And watch this. Watch this. Because this simple prayer often releases more power because it's a sign that the prayer is accurate. So say this, say, Father in heaven, Father in heaven I believe Jesus died for my sins and rose from the grave on the third day. I repent of my sins. I trust you, Jesus, as my Savior and my healer. Amen. Amen. Now, now, move your foot around. Move your foot around again. And tell me you're feeling more from that. I don't know if it's just a mental thing, but no, I'm it's not feel, a mental thing. Feel you feel more from that, right? Yeah. He feels more from that prayer. So the prayer, the things that are repeated out of your mouth, it's a confirmation that that's true. That's why more pe pe power is released. Yes. You get it? Yes. You're, so, giving, you're giving the Lord permission to come into your yeah. life in a deeper way. With Jesus' name, Lord, take away every uh, attachment that's not from you. I cut it off. I slice it. Every tether to this man who is not from the Lord, I slice it in Jesus' name. The right people are coming to you now, and I speak a sanctification over you, Angie. You will not accept anything other than what is from the Lord. He's going to use you mightily. I speak a blessing over your business. You're going to be an amazing blessing to others, and you're going to use your business for the glory of God. Amen. And we rebuke all stress Amen. from the daughter Amen. from raising Lord. We just command Lord her daughter to not be any type of rebellious. Lord, we just speak yeah. for her daughter to be a more obedient father. And we just command Lord right now all stress to leave Lord. And we ask Lord that you would give her a divine peace while raising her daughter. Father, don't let her get stressed out when raising her daughter. Lord, teach her Lord how to pray and to pull away Lord and to let your peace rule and reign in our heart lord don't let our emotions get the best of her father let the devil use her emotions to be all emotional give her supernatural control over her emotions god that she might not say the wrong things lord she's a very stern and direct person father but you also want her to be very gentle and vulnerable father so we ask for vulnerability father in the name of jesus we ask for a tender and timid heart father in the name of jesus christ but a heart that is stern and trust in you lord let her be stern in your word lord let her be stern when it comes to your promises father in the name of Jesus, let her speak your word, Lord, and with your supernatural peace, guard her heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 And, and hold that for a second. Do you have any okay. pain in your wrist? Uh, well, right now it's because I'm holding the thing a little bit, but not too much. So you have any pro oh, you sorry, elbow right wrist? Here, a little bit, just because it's like kind of older. All right, pain go right now in Jesus' name. Now move it around. That's good. It's good. Feels better? It's good, yeah. It's not even hurting you. Yeah. Yeah, the pain went away. God's gonna get you wow. out of this business. <laughs> wow. God, God's gonna give you that business quickly. So I'm, I'm, you gotta start preparing yourself. Yeah. Cause I, I, I really second what she's saying. What she yeah. said to you was about the cold quickness thing. God just made me say it again is that this business is gonna, I don't know if somebody's gonna give it to you or somebody, you're gonna have to buy a business. Yeah. You can buy a business, you can get a business, um, somebody may give it to you. Somehow you're gonna, or you can start it. I don't know how it's gonna happen, but God is saying start preparing yourself for that business, okay? okay. Yes. Because he's gonna take you out of this. He doesn't, right. he likes the fact that you're doing this, but this is not your destiny. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm okay. saying? And so it doesn't matter that you're doing this, he loves it. But, yeah, it's just training ground. Yeah, but it's just like, preparing. he's preparing, right, right, right. you know what I'm saying, for something, because you, you have, you're a business owner. You're gonna be, right. you call yourself a business owner. Don't, right. I don't care if you don't have a business right now. Okay. I used to, I didn't have a business. I have two businesses. But God, I started, he knows. I started calling myself a business owner. Before, when right. God told right. me I was a business owner, I started saying I was a business owner. So before Abraham believed the, 
you know, it's like Abraham. He believed the promise of God before and he started calling himself the father of many nations before right. he even was the father of many nations. Right, so you right. have to start calling your stuff, like start yeah. saying, start referring to yourself as Angie the business owner. Okay. And, yes. and reshaping like that. Right. And, and I'm telling you, he's going to bless your business. And trust him through everything, everything. I don't care what I do. it is. I trust really him. Right. Amen. Really yes, he also says, who despises the day of small beginnings? Right. So like what you cleaning as a custodial right. it's like that's that blessing of the lord to bring you to the point of of humbling yourself before him yeah. and trusting in him and learning how to work hard and trusting with the small thing in life right so you can bring you the bigger thing and cleaning yes. is a form of sanctification yes too. so Amen. i wanted to second what he was right, saying right, is right. that cleaning is sanctification so what he's doing is he's just right. cleaning up your life right now okay. so that you can yeah. get you ready for... i've never seen it like that no yeah but that makes sense yeah he right, that right. was when he started saying that the small beginnings and stuff like that yeah. god started like like we all parlay off of each other you know what i mean yeah, god yeah. works through all of us so we he might get something she might get another i might get something else but it's cleaning he's cleaning he's using this to clean up your life but when you clean once he done clean up your life he's going to start blessing you you know okay. so, right, so right, just right. start getting ready for that you know yes. it's, it, it's going to happen quickly it's not going to happen yeah. like 10 years from now, whatever, it's gonna no, start happening quickly. it's gonna happen very quickly. Yes, and yes. start telling people, start speaking it. Like Joel said, I felt such a confirmation in my spirit because you know, this tongue has a power of life and death. Yeah. And faith comes from hearing, not only hearing the word of God, but actually from us, us right. speaking the word. Like we bring things into existence. Does, does your daughter have an ear infection? She did before. Wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. She did. Like, <laughs> wow. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, so did. like, so, Ear infection completely die. In, what's her name? Arlena. Uh, ear infection completely ear die in, 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 in the ear. Yeah. Ear infection completely die in Arlena in the name of Jesus Christ. Ear Man, infection no, die completely Jesus. in Jesus' name. name. Life and strength to you, Arlena. In Jesus' name, be comforted. Amen. 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 Do you feel that? I do feel that. You, you know why you're feeling that? Because you're feeling it for your daughter because she's part of you. Right. Amen. 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 I bet you you go home, your daughter's going to be like, I feel great, mommy. Right, 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 right. That's so true. Yeah. That's true how you, it's crazy how you knew that. You guys, I, I, looks, I, I, I thought I was hearing that. I thought I was hearing that. And so I said to myself, Lord, are you saying ear infection in the daughter? And as soon as I said that to myself, to the Lord, I felt the power of God yeah. as a confirmation Great. of that. Yeah. Wow. He feels the yeah. power of God a lot. I, yeah. I don't get that a lot, but he does. Wow. wow. That's, That's so cool. Good. That's Praise so the cool. Lord. Praise You're my, a wonderful person. You know what? It's so interesting. You pray for ear infection. Right. This, this, this topic of the ears. The Lord is saying something. He's giving you ears yes. to hear what you need to hear. Amen. That's this man so over here came up with a ear bud. Yeah, ear scrubbers. Ear scrubbers. Ear scrubbers, right. He invented these uh, specific type of ear scrubbers. Yeah, They're very unique. Cleaner. Oh, what? Yeah. Listen, yeah, this is amazing. So the Lord is saying God gave me that, that idea, too. Wow. So yeah. be ready. For our business. Okay. So be prepared to now listen. Listen and hear the Lord. He's going to speak to you. You're yes. going to hear him. Amen. Amen.